Well, good morning, Arizona. Time right now is 4.30. We do begin with uh, breaking news and a traffic alert that you need to know about as you head out the door on your Friday morning. We're hearing about a rollover crash on the I-17 that has shut down part of the highway, and we have just learned this has turned deadly. So we want to check in with Gibby, who is live with everything you need to know before you head out the door. Good morning, Gib. Yeah, good morning, guys. And it, it will cause a problem later on in the morning here, but I can tell you the medical examiner is right behind me now uh, getting ready to remove the body here. Their DPS is telling us they're investigating a single car crash that ha that is fatal. So as you can see, they have it closed off on Grant and they're making them get off on off of Grant. You can see them driving down the frontage road and then making their way back on the freeway. So if you use this road or you're getting ready to leave for work early this morning and you take I-17 uh, southbound, just know that, or northbound, I should say, uh, you, it will be closed for a couple of hours as they continue to investigate this crash a little bit earlier. When we arrived here, they had a couple other witnesses that they were talking to. Most of the scene has since cleared, but they still have it blocked off and it'll be that way for at least a couple more hours. We're still trying to hear from DPS as far as what happened here or how that car rolled over. But as you can see, it is still upside down along I-17 there as they continue to investigate uh, this deadly crash, guys. And of course, those southbound lanes on I-17 going to play a big role in this morning's commute. So we'll check in with Gina on ways to get around that. Thanks so much, Gib. All right, time right now is 432. Let's take you up north where snow is falling in the high country on your Friday morning. Take a look at this here. The latest winter storm bringing snow to lower elevations than normal. So we're talking about the Prescott, Sedona, and even Cottonwood area. I see this and I say, here we go again. Here <laughs> we go again. Oh, and we know, obviously, it's a Friday. The weekend is here. We know a lot of you are going to be heading up north somewhere to have some fun in the snow. But we have team coverage for you this morning with everything you need to know to make it up north safely. Now we have Steven up on the I-17 with some important winter driving tips. We're going to check in with him in just a moment. But first, Ian, uh, man, taking a look behind you there, it's <laughs> like a blizzard, it looks like. Oh, yeah, it's snowing again in Flagstaff. Now, that first shot at the railroad track, a lot of that was old snow, and we are not going to add you know, 30 inches like we did the last system, but the visibility is going to be very poor. This is a live look at Flagstaff. This is on top of the Walk-Up Sky Dome looking toward the San Francisco peaks. Can't even see the road, can't see the city. So it is going to be difficult travel up the I-17 and that snow is going to start earlier than normal. So you get to uh, before Camp Verde, you're going to start to see some of that snow. 24 degrees. It's kind of blowing around as well. Check it out. A live look in Payson. Snowing in Payson. This is a Green Valley Park. See the dock right there. A little bit of accumulation, but snow coming down in Payson as well. They're at about 5,000 feet. We have some rain in the valley. Not anticipating a ton as we look at first alert radar. We have some showers pushing into Tempe right now. Here's Tempe Town Lake. This is the 101 eventually making its way into North Mesa and the Dobson Ranch. Nothing severe. I don't think we're going to see slud uh, uh, flooding. Maybe, uh, you know, some slick spots out there. Just take it easy. But let's uh, show you where that snow is up in the high country. Here at Payson, seeing some of that snow. Young, Overgard along the 260. Blue Ridge as well. Uh, Flagstaff in it right now. Prescott, a little bit of snow for you guys. It's kind of um, on each side of Prescott, but we'll see some there today. And then also seeing a bit in western Arizona and Mojave County. So another system rolling in. Temperatures in the 20s in Flagstaff. 30s in Prescott, 30s in Kingman, 40s in Gila Bend. Uh, most of us in the 40s because of cloud cover overhead. So not a terribly chilly morning, but where do you see our temperatures getting into the weekend? Very cold weather on the way. High 57, that's it. Steven joins us live this morning, rolling around in the storm, Commander. Uh, anything out there on the roads? It shouldn't be too bad, but uh, you know, sometimes it doesn't take a whole yeah. lot of uh, rain or snow to get people sideways. I did want to say, Ian, you know, we left the valley uh, a couple minutes ago. We saw just a light sprinkle, so nothing really too bad on the valley this morning on the roadways. But we're heading up north along I-17 where things will really take a change past that Sedona exit. That's when, you know, a lot of that snow really becomes a factor. And it's really causing some problems for drivers, in some cases having to do some rescues. I just want to show you all the, the roadways. It is calm. It is quiet on the I-17. Again, we're uh, North Valley leaving 
leaving the valley pretty much along the I-17. And let me say, if, if you love the snow and live in the valley, and I know it can be very tempting to travel up north this weekend, especially if you missed out on all the snow last weekend. Now, if you do so, just make sure you're extra cautious when you're traveling up north. I want to show you these numbers. These are the calls that the Coconino County Sheriff's Office took over the holiday weekend. They helped seven, 73 motorists assisted with 38 traffic collisions, assisted with other agencies as well as answered 19 public assistance calls and had seven search and rescue calls. Some of those search and rescue calls, you know, required special equipment like snow cats, snowmobiles and a military Humvee in order to rescue these people, a process which took several hours for some. And the Sheriff's Office is putting out another warning to drivers in the mountain areas, especially the back country. If you are planning to come up here, you need to have some certain essentials inside your car um, because it may be it may if you were to travel out into the into the remote or the woods area and get stuck, it may be hours before we can respond because we'll probably be responding to other people. So let's talk about that emergency kit. If you're traveling up north, you should have sort of what they call an avalanche rescue kit, which is, you know, gear like a shovel, a rescue beacon, winter survival gear, GPS, food, water, a map. And another thing that they're recommending is pay attention to the local forecast, which of course Ian has us all covered for. All right, Stephen, thank you so much. You guys drive up there safely. We'll check with you throughout the morning because, yes, I think maybe people even playing uh, oh, some yeah. hooky today I would, to get up to I the snow. Here, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Be safe, Stephen. Thank you. Our time right now is 436. We have an update right now on the hundreds of campers who've been stranded down near Tucson. Floodwaters are still blocking a roadway inside Catalina Park. So the water did recede slightly yesterday, allowing uh, campers, at least a few of them, to exit the park. But this morning, it is still closed. Park officials were hoping to have the road fully cleared by yesterday. The new timeline is hoping to have everyone out by later today. So all this rain and snow we've had lately has really made for some problems. But of course, this is certainly great news ahead of wildfire season. Yeah, we know how devastating they can be here. So new this morning, we're learning the federal government is spending nearly a billion dollars to cut the risk of those devastating wildfires in our state and really across the West. That money will help thin forests and also clear underbrush that fuels fires in our national forests. So here in our state, the work will be done in the Tonto and Coronado National Forests. The goal is to really lessen the risk of a natural forest fire growing out of control and then burning through a community. You have to have a sense of urgency because we've seen where communities are at risk, what happens. It is not just burned homes, lost lives, although that is critically important. It's also the critical infrastructure that communities depend on. Funding from this will come from the uh, Bipartisan Infrastructure Law, also the Inflation Reduction Act. But the Secretary of Agriculture admits that they're up against the challenge of finding enough workers to even carry out their plan in our national forests so that the risk of these devasta devastating fires can be lowered. The well, time now is 438. Vice President Kamala Harris came to Arizona to promote our state's growing role in expanding the country's clean energy supply. The VP was in Tonopah yesterday for the groundbreaking of 10 West Link. We've been telling you about this project. It's uh, going to eventually bring more affordable power to millions of people from Arizona all the way to California. Vice President Harris says the country's power grid is in desperate need of an upgrade. She came to the ground break, uh, groundbreaking on the 125-mile transmission project that will link Tonopah to Blythe, California. It will increase capacity for energy from solar and wind farms. She says folks here in the Valley would see that difference in their bills relatively soon. And while Harris was focused on energy issues, critics pounce, demanding to know why she also didn't visit the border, especially since she is the Biden administration's border czar. Here's what she had to say about that. I am here to talk about what we are doing around bringing down the cost to American families and creating jobs. Let me say on the border that it is one of our highest priorities to continue to work on making sure that the border is secure. Well, Governor Hobbs was at the event with the vice president and has scheduled a press conference for later today. She'll be there to, and we will be asking if she spoke to VP Harris about immigration issues. 
Well, Congressman Greg Stanton is not going to run for Senate in 2024. Stanton confirming yesterday that he will not go for Senator Kirsten Sinema's seat after she changed her party affiliation to independent. Congressman Ruben Gallego, however, continues to hint at a run for that seat, but has not made a decision just yet. Well, this morning we're learning more about how the federal investigation into Phoenix could end. We're talking about Phoenix police. The city manager's office updated council members on this case. So here's what we know so far. Investigators have collected 80 thousand documents, conducted more than 100 interviews, and observed several classes at the police academy. The city manager's office says the investigation could end in one of three ways. A settlement out of court, an approved consent agreement, or in litigation. And then we will just, of course, keep you posted as all of this develops. Does anybody have any questions? We're uh, executing two federal search warrants this morning. We're looking for potential precursor chemicals. Several suspects are in custody this morning after a series of early morning raids in Tucson targeting people tied to distributing fentanyl. Now, they discovered more than 100 pounds of chemicals used to make the deadly drug. Beyond getting suspected dealers off the street, Homeland Security says the raids were significant because they uncovered evidence that Mexican cartels may be trying to set up fentanyl labs here in the U.S. Right now, the cartels ensure the elements that go into the making of fentanyl are shipped separately. Why is it so hard to stop the distribution? Because there's so many different ways that it can be smuggled into the United States, right? It's coming in through 18-wheelers. It's coming in through passenger vehicles. It's coming in through people walking across the border. It's being backpacked into the country. Last year, the DEA seized 50 million fentanyl lace pills and 10,000 pounds of fentanyl powder Here's the thing, it's enough to kill every American. This morning calls for change and accountability at the Maricopa County Animal Shelter. This after staff mistakenly euthanized a dog. A rescue group was supposed to take the three-year-old Rottweiler named Sirrett. He was actually on the euthanasia list for behavioral issues, but volunteers at the Rotten Roddy Rescue met him. They thought they could rehab him and they were supposed to take him home. That is until someone on the vet team mistakenly put him down. It was devastating. It was devastating. He was a baby. He had his whole life ahead of him. A county shelter tells Arizona's family a member of their vet team did not see a note that Sarah was gonna be picked up and is devastated by the mistake. Now, something similar happened back in December. So now the shelter is reevaluating their processes to avoid future cases of mistaken euthanasia. Well, coming up next on Good Morning Arizona, Alec Baldwin will face criminal charges for the deadly film set shooting with why prosecutors say even if this was an accident that he should be held responsible. And golfers in California, check this out, getting a real surprise. After hundreds of golf balls washed ashore at a beach, the mystery behind how they got there in the first place. Hear about weather first from your first alert weather and traffic team on Arizona's Family 3 TV. Whether you're headed up north or enjoying the valley sun. Staying aware and being prepared will keep your family safe. Hear about it first from your first alert weather and traffic team on Arizona's Family 3 TV. For just $5, you can get your choice between two sandwiches plus my classic taco, curly fries, and a drink. I can't hear you. Oh, sure. For just $5. Try my $5 jackpack today. When designing our line for living spaces, we think about how we can turn everyday pieces into a one-of-a-kind statement that brings a room to life. Whether it's an unexpected finish, a deeply practical function, or a vintage-inspired feel that draws you in, it's about creating furniture and accents that tell a story where every detail has been considered. Explore our collection and discover a stylish and versatile assortment that will elevate your home and the way you live. Only with Nate and Jeremiah for Living Spaces. Everyone deserves to feel connected. That's why Cox offers a range of high-speed internet plans that fit any budget. Get Cox Internet for $19.99 a month through the FCC's Affordable Connectivity Program. With no annual contract, download speeds up to 100 megabits per second and panoramic Wi-Fi and equipment included. It's fast and reliable internet for everyone. See if you qualify at cox.com ACP. 
After 20 years, the re-merchandising and disposal of the dump. Luxury brands just arrived 50% below retail. Now liquidated 50 below our costs. To change out everything, first we gotta dump everything. Just dump for $6,000 on us. Disposed under two. Design and recline, $9.95. Complete bedrooms and dining. Famous names dumped for $3,500. Liquidated, $7.95. $8,000 mansion-sized Persian rugs, $888. Complete liquidation of the dump factory outlet. Did you know that if left untreated, vein disease can lead to ulcers or even blood clots in your legs? Be proactive. See a vein doctor at United Vein Centers. Call 1-800-NEW-LEGS. Note the unprecedented neurophysiological response. Your grilled chicken sandwich with good, good sauce really stimulates craveability. Dumb that down for me. Big and squiggly is good. Big and squiggly is real good. All I needed to hear, my grilled chicken sandwiches. Tasty and healthy-ish. We keep you updated. With big games, scores, and highlights. This is your late night sports destination. The Extra Point, weeknights at 1035 on Arizona's Family 3TV. Sponsored by Desert Diamond Sportsbook. In developing news this morning, actor Alec Baldwin will face charges for the death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins. This was for the 2021 shooting on the sets of the unfinished film Rust. The Santa Fe District Attorney will file involuntary manslaughter charges against Baldwin, who was holding the gun that went off during a rehearsal scene. So the weapons specialist on the movie, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed from Bullhead City, will also be charged with involuntary manslaughter. It was her job to maintain and manage the prop guns. So now Gutierrez's uh, legal team is fighting back against these charges. Yeah, they're claiming the company that supplied the ammunition is at fault for the kind that they sold. According to a lawsuit, Gutierrez-Reed filed against a PDQ arm and Prop LLC a year ago. It claims the company and its owner, Seth Kenny, sold and advertised its props as dummy ammunition, which Gutierrez Reed thought she was loading into the prop gun, not live rounds. The lawsuit also says there were two other accidental and negligent gun discharges on set just two days before. There was such a lack of safety and safety standards on that set um, that there were live rounds on set. They were mixed in with regular dummy rounds. Nobody was checking those, or at least they weren't checking them consistently. Even though Baldwin is trying to pin the blame on Gutierrez Reed for the tragedy, she says Baldwin did not respond to her cross draw training requests days before. According to court documents, she wasn't even inside the church when the shooting happened and didn't know that Baldwin and Hutchins were rehearsing. Gutierrez Reed's attorney believes that she will be found not guilty by a jury. If convicted, she could spend up to 18 months in prison and pay up to a $5,000 fine. Your time right now is 448. Take a look. This is an unusual sight to see in California, or really just about anywhere. Look, hundreds of random golf balls washed ashore on the Carmel River State Beach. The winter storm appears to be the culprits. Back-to-back -back atmospheric rivers are raising water levels, freeing up golf balls that may have been trapped in water hazards for years. Golfers are now flocking to the beach to collect them and say the majority of the balls are still in pretty good shape. That's kind of a cool find, oh, right? Oh, yeah. You can gather those up and sell them for a dollar each. Oh, there you go. Wait, does that mean <laughs> someone knocked them into the ocean? How did they uh, get there? Probably just, you know... That's not good. Things happen. <laughs> Things happen. Because <laughs> there's a golf pebble beach. Is there a pebble beach around there? It, that could be. Uh, so you never know. Yeah, ocean? if it's a Carmel River State yeah, Beach. That's not a good find. Rain cloud, just, you know, no, nothing raining golf. golf. Were, were you out there recently? <laughs> no, I don't golf. I don't, I don't have the patience for that. All right, let's get you into a winter weather advisory for a good portion of northern Arizona. The snow's happening right now. This is uh, kind of the worst of it, and it'll continue through the morning hours. By the afternoon, we will kind of slow things down but we know a lot of folks are trying to get up to the mountains to see all that snow take it easy the conditions are not great here's what it looks like in flagstaff right now reduced visibility for sure as the snow is falling we have gusty winds 20 25 miles per hour and that is going to throw that snow around and make it pretty difficult to see and that's uh, relatively low snow levels as well pace it it's about 5,000 feet seeing some snow right now this is a live look at green valley park with the snow coming down so we are going to have a uh, first alert condition up in the mountains, mainly for that hazardous driving for 
uh, overnight hours and through Friday. Uh, not a first alert here in the valley because the rain is not going to be that big of an impact, but we are going to have snow and we are going to have reduced visibility if you are heading up the I-17. Here's the radar. You can see the snow over Flagstaff, Blue Ridge, pushing into Apache and Navajo counties. We'll pick up some snow in uh, Chinle and Cayenta and up on the tribal lands. Strawberry seeing some snow pacing as well, pushing along the 260 Heber Overguard. And those snow levels are trying to get down to about 2,500 or so. Just rain in the valley. You can see a cell, not a cell, a little band of rain kind of pushing into Tempe and Mesa. This is really light stuff. It's not going to cause you that many problems. But a few passes with the windshield wiper. I don't think you really need the umbrella. Most of you are going to get up, and this rain is going to be already passed. You can bring it, but the odds of it sitting in the back seat are pretty high. Uh, 48 for our high uh, cur current conditions, uh, current temperature, 32 in Sedona, 30 in Prescott, 28 in Sholo. We're in the 40s in and around the valley. Tomorrow, after the system gets through, when we wake up, it is going to be quite chilly. We're going to see widespread 30s. In fact, uh, parts of um, <clears throat> Queen Creek and Santan Valley under a hard freeze warning, low 30s, upper 20s there, so cover your sensitive plants. Let's roll through future cast. Here's 8 a.m. Still seeing that snow to the north, pushing over into the White Mountains and quickly exiting the state by the evening hours. Here we are, 6, 6.30. Most of that snow is done. We'll have a few lingering showers, but we're looking at dry conditions statewide. How much uh, snow are we talking about? Well, we've already had a couple of inches fall in Flagstaff. We could add two to a few more. Payson, uh, two to three inches possibly. Possible. Maybe two up in Window Rock, Cayenta, two inches, Pine Top Lakeside, maybe two to three, maybe four inches if you're lucky. 57 for your high today, 59 tomorrow after morning in the 30s. And we're going to have 30s each morning for at least the next five days. So very cool starts with temperatures well below normal in the 50s. This is not Arizona anymore. Where are we, Ian? <laughs> Coming up next, we're getting a new look at the latest Scream installment as crews, new and old, battle against Ghostface when the new movie screams into theaters next. CBS Tonight. Go, go, go. Your weekend starts here. The faster we move, the sooner the whole team will be out of harm's way. I'm a fighter. I'm a survivor. I got the fight. Further ado, New Year, new episodes. It all begins tonight, 8, 7 central on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. There will always be bumps in the road, but we got guts, America. We got power. We got future. So let's drive on and make the future we want to see together. So stop by your Ford dealer today and claim one of the thousands of new Ford trucks and SUVs on their way. Now, get special offers on select 2023 Ford models, like $1,000 retail order bonus cash, only at your Desert Ford dealers. Wells Fargo lets you know where you stand with your FICO credit score. What if you knew where you stood with everything, like your future in-laws? Hope you like cats. Uh, I hope your parents like me. <laughs> They're whispering. The kid is lying on <laughs> Can they tell I'm allergic? Tears of joy. Welcome to the family. Like knowing where you stand? When it comes to your credit score, you can with Wells Fargo. We know that storm damage and leaks in your roof can be costly and disrupt your life. At Reyes Roofing, we focus on providing high-quality work at affordable prices so your family stays safe and comfortable. With our 15-year leak-free warranty, you can be confident that your home will be protected for years to come. We truly care about our customers, which is why we've been trusted to take care of friends and family members all across the valley. Call Reyes Roofing today for a free estimate or visit us online to book an appointment at ReyesRoofingLLC.com. This is the 2023 Nissan Rogue. With a surprisingly fuel-efficient VC turbo engine. You can go from zero to fun in no time and leave basic far behind. The 2023 Nissan Rogue. Anything but basic. Get 1.9% financing for 36 months on Rogue with best-in-class fuel economy among gas engines. Sunday, Joe Burrow and the Bengals take on Josh Allen's Bills. A trip to the AFC Championship is on the line. Sunday on CBS. 
Welcome back, everyone. 4.54 is our time right now in the rock and roll community, mourning the loss of one of the most influential rock singers in the 60s and 70s, David Crosby. Now, he was a founding member of two beloved rock bands, The Birds and Crosby, Stills and Nash. Now, both of the bands define the smooth side of the Woodstock generation's music. The Rock and Roll Hall of Famer stood out for his intricate vocal harmonies and his analytical songwriting. Variety reports that he died after a long illness. He was 81 years old. There's a darkness inside of me. It followed me here. And it's going to keep coming for us. <laughs> All right, Colton's apparently for really this. excited oh about the gosh. new trailer for Scream 6. It's officially out. Courtney Cox, Hayden Pan Pantier, and a few other stars from the horror franchise all teaming up again with new characters to stop Ghostface from terrorizing <laughs> New York City. Scream 6 hits the big screen March 10th. Well, the iconic band Queen is pulling back the curtain to reveal how their famous concerts were created. So in part two of their year-long YouTube series, Queen the Greatest, it takes fans behind the scenes of rare concert footage and exclusive interviews. The next installment debuts later today. And still to come this morning, a woman who escaped a life of sex trafficking talks about the work she's now doing here in the Valley to help free other victims. And I'm giving you a long I-17 where it has been shut down just south of Jefferson due to a fatal crash. And wait till you hear what DPS thinks was the cause. Your road to adventure starts at La Mesa. Discover majestic vistas or mountain hideaways. An RV or adventure van makes it possible. Start your road to adventure at La Mesa. Okay, everyone, our mission is complete balanced nutrition. Together, we support immune function, supply fuel for immune cells, and sustain tissue health. Ensure with 25 vitamins and minerals, and ensure complete with 30 grams of protein. Bob's presents 2023 Furniture Resolutions. Resolution number 12, live without regrets. Comparison shopping is tough. Both of these sofas power recline. Both have USB ports. But my Avenger Power Reclining Sofa has comfy Baba Pedic seating and a neat drop-down table with cup holders. Theirs doesn't. My Avenger is only $9.99. Those other guys charge $18.35. You're too savvy for that. Live without shopping regrets with my Avenger Sofa. Bob's Discount Furniture. Furniture solutions to your resolutions. Jewelry, timeless. Two carat heart pendants, 49. Stackable bands, 199. Three stone rings, 199. One carat, 899. And one carat studs, 599. Thousands of gifts guaranteed to appraise for double. The Jewelry Exchange Phoenix. Hear about weather first from your first alert weather and traffic team on Arizona's Family 3 TV. Your road to adventure starts at La Mesa. Our huge selection of RVs and adventure vans makes it possible. A used Thor Chateau is discounted. $15,000. Start your road to adventure at La Mesa. When you're hurt in a car wreck, this is what the insurance companies want to pay you. This is what we want to get you. Call Learn and Row Injury Attorneys today. Learn and Row is the way to go. Call 977-1900. Now handling here straightener uterine cancer cases. Hi, I'm Andrew the home buyer, and I love making it easy to sell your house. When you call me, I'll personally come to your home and give you a cash offer on the spot. And I'll beat any other offer. It really is that easy. I'll even let you live in your home for free after we close and no need to worry about any cleaning or repairs. Call me, Andrew the home buyer today, and let me personally come give you a cash offer. Hurt in a wreck and don't have health insurance or money for co-pays and deductibles? No problem. At Learner and Row, we can get you the medical treatment you need with no out-of-pocket cost. And we don't get paid till we win your case. Learner and Row is the way to go. Call 977-1900. And we begin with this 5 o'clock hour with a breaking news and traffic alert that you're going to want to know about. A deadly crash on the I-17 shutting down parts of the freeway. Gibby is live there right now with some new information. You'll want to listen up before you head out the door this morning. Good morning, Gib. 
Yeah, good morning, guys. Uh, we do have some new information here. Uh, with DPS, I will tell you that this is a fatal crash involving uh, two different cars. At first, they were thinking a single car crash. It is now two cars that were involved in this. As a matter of fact, they